Right, my friend, I thought I'd give you better screenshots of what I was showing you earlier on. So this is all the information I got off the Snap-on Veris scan tool. As you can see there, there's, uh, there's Rake's information on different components within that Volvo. Now, the one we're going to concentrate on is exhaust gas recirculation control solenoid valve and the exhaust gas recirculation center, sensor. So we'll go to the next one. There's a description of the stuff I showed you earlier on, so you can just pause the video and read through that yourself. And then the next one is the you're checking the voltage supply, uh, 12.2 to 12.4, so 12 volts, main supply. But you said yours had a 5-pin connector. Now in the Snap-on tool, I can only find ones with 6-pin connectors, so... I don't really know, maybe a ground, maybe the shade of ground for one of the, the components, I'm not really sure, so I'll leave you to read that. And that's the duty cycle I was telling you about there, that's if you've seen it on a, a scope. A good, if you're interested in cars and you want to buy a cheap scope, buy the Pico scope, uh, the, the 200 series, they call it, or 2000 series, £100 UK, brilliant buy. And uh, it's a great scope. Anyway, so that's the information we got off of that, and that's all about the solenoid valve. You can you can uh, do an ohms test to see if that's still in position, but you're still better to do a visual by taking off the car. Now this is a bit it should feed back to the ECU is the the lift sensor. Now, to me, that probably should be working because the computer's not flagging up a fault with that, and they usually do right away. Another test you can do, and I've made a video about this, is see when you start the car, eh, what to do, select your PID, the air mass meter, and look at the EGR valve. And as the EGR valve opens, you should see the volume of air coming into your car decreases because it's it's using the exhaust gases. So try that. So I don't know if you can do that in that Volvo Vida scan tool. Just select air mass meter and the EGR valve I just it should come down even in cold cold idle because I think it uses the exhaust gases to heat the car up first thing in the morning so there's some information there's the first one you can do a DC voltage test uh, it needs a 5 volts now when it says 5 volts it means either 4.99 or 5.02 so it has to be 5 volts on that pin 1 the ground signal, you can check that with a test light for going for battery positive to that ground on pin 3 and also on pin 6, if this is right. You can take like an LED test lamp and you can check your, if you have a PID for the lift sensor on this uh, Volvo scan tool, you can go, I've seen me even doing it with just the battery, 12 volts on the, the test light and just touch that pin. You can see it shoot up to 5 volts, but make sure you do it with an LED test light. Don't use a high amperage test light because that will just blow up the computer. So leave that to the last minute. But you can see there, voltage should be 2.4 at idle, so that means the valve is open and bleeding in exhaust gas and approximately 1 volt using a snap throttle pedal. So the valve's shutting as you snap the throttle, as I said to you earlier on. So you can check that out, a multimeter would do that job fine. And then if you had a scope, you see the pattern at the top right, that was what it looked like in a scope. But a multimeter would do this job as well. As soon as you blip that throttle, snap it, it should go down to 1 volt or under. That means they get the, the valve is shutting. So there's, there's other information for you as well. And there's other data. There you go, key on the engine off, pin between pin 1 and three. Well, that's what that's the that's what I was telling you about the five volt supply. Uh, and then a supply test. That's five volts. And then your ground test. It's saying, as I said, you can use a test light and that connected to the battery positive, and then just touch the ground. And if the test light lights up, you've got a good ground. There's a little wiring diagram. Uh, sorry, I can't point at this because I'm using PowerPoint at the moment. But why? So that's why one five one. That is the EGR valve actuator, so it's pin 3 and 4 it does the actuation, there's actual solenoid, and pins 1, 6 and 5 are the sensor. So that's going back to the computer, and then that's other information, if you disconnect the component, what you can expect, 
Right, that's quite useless information because you're actually disconnecting it, so you're unloading circuit. So, and then it gives you an ohm value, and there's where it's located about. But I think you know <laughs> you know that already. And there's a pin out of the ECU of the EGR valve, the actuator bit. And if we go to the next slide, that's me just scrolling down a little bit. Uh, that's the lift sensor, and it, you got a pin out. Is that a pin out? No, is that the lift sensor? Can't remember. It's all the actuation here, and then that's the waveform. But you know that already. So that's it, my friend. Hope that helps you. But as I say, I never found a five pin. It was always just six. But I'm sure you can work that out. Cheers.